Today on the channel, we're back with another AEW Unrivaled Series 13 unboxing and review when we got the Butcher and we've got the Blade. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another AEW Unrivaled Series 13 unboxing and review. And today on the channel from Unrivaled Series 13, we got the Butcher and we've got the Blade. But for all your Butcher and the Blade needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there. And of course, we're gonna do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna see where it goes from there. We're gonna kick it off with a little butch over here. The butcher. And of course, uh, I used to work in grocery stores for a, a large part of my life. Uh, you know, going to high school and through college and stuff. And the only department I never worked in was the meat department. So I never got to be a butcher, unfortunately. But maybe in a retirement life or maybe in another life I'll get to do that but the butch looking good right here I'm here for a butch I don't care if it's bushwhacker butch or if it's butch butch from AEW I'm here for the butcher love it he is a bigger figure we need more big figures in AEW he is a big dude and I think he would have done really well back in like the 80s or something like that he's got a heck of a look still to this day but definitely a classic look on butch here looking good down low big window box usual AEW unrivaled style packaging we're used to that by now all Elite Wrestling on the side, little glamour shot there. He's number 119 in the Unrivaled Collection for Series 13. All Elite Wrestling on this side. Then on the back of the package, big cross sell down low. A little bit of jibber jabber as well. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Butch. And you got Butch with a little autograph looking good right there. From AEW Rampage 318-2022, San Antonio, Texas. Beautiful this time of year. And one thing I've heard about San Antonio is they got the Alamo, and man, San Antonio knows how to rock. That's what I've been told, that they love their heavy metal down there in San Antonio. And lucky for me, come December, I am headed to San Antonio. More on that as we get closer, but I will be in San Antonio. Never been. Going to be checking it out. Going to be hitting some stores. Going to be doing some things. Uh, stay tuned for more on my San Antonio adventure. I'm going to find that basement of the Alamo. If Pee Wee couldn't do it, I'm going to get the job done for our old friend Pee Wee. Uh, but looking good right here. I like what I see. Of course, we've got Sting, Darby Allen, Wardlow, Danhausen, The Blade, and The Bunny in the set. And we do know The Bunny and Danhausen are the rare chase additions. So a little bit harder to find for those two, as we do know. But Butch, all day long, we're getting The Butch out right there. And there it is. See you later. Goodbye. And we get The Butch. Butcher right there. Glamour shot, or I should say plastic prison shot right there. Looking nice. Pop him out. Maybe. Maybe we'll pop him out. We'll see. There we go. Lost the glasses. Always dangerous move. And oh, man, the Butch. He's got two fists of fury all day long. He's getting these two fists for me. There's no doubt about it there. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's get down to this one. This is wild. This is wild. I think... Hasn't he shaved his head or something like that since then? I'm pretty sure he has. So this is a little bit out of date, but I do like the looks on this one. It is wild and crazy. Like wild and crazy kids from Nickelodeon back in the day. There you go. But he has got some big old shades going here. Absolutely love these big old shades. Definitely here for this. A little bit rubbery, a little bit gummy, of course. Reminds you of Orange Cassidy's maybe uh, that we've had in the past. But definitely some new coloring to that. And then the fist. I was talking about that. I'm here for that. What's it say? He's got he's got some lettering on his fist. What message is he trying to send us with his fist? It says, what does that say? Will, will, oh. <laughs> will I am, I thought this said. He is a huge Black Eyed Peas fan. Isn't that one of the Black Eyed Peas? Remember Will, will I am or something like that? It does say Williams. So there, he got his name on his knuckles there. So he puts it together. Man, when his powers combine. Or he's a big Will I Am fan, I think. And then it does say, oh, established 1977. Oh, 1977. A beautiful year in 77. I wasn't alive for it. But if I was, I would say, oh, man, I'm living my best life in 77. That's what I'd be doing. 
But man, Williams, okay, makes sense. It's not Will I Am. He is not a Black Eyed Peas fan. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. But we do get the head on him. Got the long hair going on. Got the beard there, looking like a young Grizzly Adams, almost, almost getting there, getting there. But uh, definitely crazy with the. Uh, I don't know, we call it the horseshoe, I guess. He's going bald across the top. Some interesting little strands of hair there. It's really harking back to Galoob Arn Anderson from back in the 90s in the WCW line. Almost reminds you of that in some ways. Definitely crazy there. He's got a leather jacket going on. Can never beat a leather jacket. Always looking good. Of course, hands got those same tattoos we saw on the fists. Definitely very cool on here as well. I'm switching both these out to a fist, though, like I did say. Uh, but he just kind of got that uh, Polly Pocket uh, black leather jacket on here, much like Sting we saw in this one. Uh, a little bit lighter. It doesn't feel as thick as maybe the John Moxley did in the past. A little bit thinner material on this one. I am going to pull the jacket off, and in doing so, I'm going to pull these hands off to get down to business. Still a little bit of work to get these off, though, as I'm seeing right here. Uh-oh, we lost the torso. That makes it even harder. Uh, there we go, pulling that out. I do like that everything is kind of removable on these. We've done that a million times here on the channel. But definitely looks good here. Going to pop this out, pop these hands back in. We're going to get down to business here with old Butch looking good. Uh, there it is. Is it Butch Williams? Isn't that the Bushwhacker? No, it was Luke Williams. Luke Williams, that's right. Never mind. Take that back. Strike that from the record, of course. But we do get Butch out of the package here. Definitely a thicker, bigger body style. And man, I like this because so many of the AEW guys, nothing against them. We're all sized differently, but there's so many small little guys, just little skinny guys is what it seems like. Butch has got a, a girth to him. He's got, some, he's got some weight to him. I'm definitely here for this. Definitely feels different in the land of littler wrestlers, I guess guess is old butch here but man talk about colorful that's one thing you'll never say AEW wrestlers aren't colorful they're not putting the jazzwares team through their paces trying to get all these tattoos lined up a lot of work going on here got the big floral sleeve looking beautiful love the coloring in this one got the big old tattoo on the back it says the old death ah the old death love it butcher on the trunks little butcher uh, cleavers is that what they're called cleavers uh, chop chop right there uh talk is chop it says on the side uh, he's got some crazy wrestling, <laughs> some wrestling on the tattoos over here. He's got tattoos on his legs. He's got the black knee pads going on, painted on glove, painted on black wrist tape, chest tattoos all over the place as well. Man, he's not messing around. He's got an H right there on his throat because huge George Harrison fan. Yes, it's true. The Butch, he loves himself some George Harrison. He just put the H up there for him. Makes sense to me. Somebody can fact check that if they want to. He's got the bad dog tattoo down here. All kinds of stuff going on. You can stare at these tattoos for hours, literally hours, and see something new each time. Of course, articulation, arms go all the way around. You get the bicep cut, double jointed elbows, little, little loose on the elbows, hands back forward, side to side, hula hoop, and then traditional waist, big old butcher splits if you need them, thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot cut, ankles back forth, side to side. So all the usual AEW articulation. Gotta say, I like this figure. It definitely feels different. I like the sizing of it. I like the tattoos. Uh, I'm just here for this all over the place. So uh, Butch, he's looking good. The old Butcher, good to have him. But now, whoops, fell off the ringside stand. I'm gonna put it back on here. Let me try that again. Try that again. There we go. So we got him on the stand this time. So we got the Butcher done. Now we're going to turn our attention over to his partner in crime, the Blade. Always love to get these tag teams together in the same set. Hopefully we can find the Bunny as we talked about, but we do got the Blade going on in here. Got the big window box. Glamour shot down low. On the side, a little glamour shot. AEW All Elite. Unrivaled. He is number 120 in Series 13. Got the E down low here. Of course, you line these boxes up. It does say very evil. So that is kind of a nice little Easter egg. On the back, it does say the blade. And then we got the cross sell, all that kind of fun stuff down here. Watch AEW Dynamite and Rampage. Rampage 1014 2022. Toronto, Canada is where this one is from. Not sure. Is Toronto beautiful this time of year? Somebody fact check that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've heard conflicting reports, is what I've heard. But we're getting the old blade out. The blade's coming out of the package by hook or by crook. Oh my gosh. See you later. Goodbye. We're getting him out. We're pulling him out. Boom. There it is. I'm pulling out the blade. I'm whipping the blade out. There it is. Plastic prison looking good. We get an extra head for him. No extra hands for the blade though. Uh, no blade either in a, in a crazy uh, turn of circumstances. No blade with the blade. I don't know. 
A little, a little straight edge knife would have been nice. A little razor blade. Whoa, we're losing stuff. See you later. Goodbye. Off to the side there. We got more glasses flying off here. We do get the glasses here, the kind of circular glasses, almost like the John Lennon glasses without all the kind of highlight colors, the purples and the reds in them, but all straight up black going on there. I like what I see. But then we got uh, the blade right here. And okay, this is interesting. Now, this is an interesting take. And this works really good for Jazzers. I like what they did here. Of course, this is the way I'm going to display him. He's got his COVID mask on. Of course, 2022, we were still fighting COVID. I guess you're still fighting COVID to this day and age. But they did include him. I think this is the first wrestler to ever include his COVID mask. So shout out to the Blade here for wearing his COVID mask. He's trying to take his health very seriously. He doesn't want to get sick, that's for sure. But he does come with his COVID mask on here. Uh, maybe Maybe it's not a COVID mask, but it's fun to pretend, right? It's fun to pretend, but we do get the mask going on. Of course, you put the glasses on here, kind of completes the look as we do know, kind of his, I don't know, sinister look as he comes to the ring in a lot of ways. I do like that we get this way, and I like that it's sculpted in. The mask is sculpted in there. I think that works really good, but if this isn't for you, you want a more wrestling version, you get a straight up plain head right here. Now, I will say you got the beard going on. You got two eyes, a nose, two ears, looking like a human, but I'm not 100% sure I could pull this out of a lineup. Somebody handed me this, said, who is this? Uh, I don't think I could tell you it's the Blade. Maybe I'm just not familiar enough. I don't look deep into his face enough. That could be a possibility there. But definitely looks interesting here. You got a head I wouldn't pick out of a lineup. But I do like that we do get this with this figure. I am here for that. Of course, this is the Blade. And the Blade, uh, the smaller member of the team, I guess we'll call him here. Got a nice little belt going on all in black. Got the black tights going there. Uh, pretty plain Jane for the most part. There's a lot of personality in the head with the mask. And then, of course, you get this new kind of material on the uh, trench coat or black leather coat, whatever we're going to call it here. But it is all black, fairly plain. So with it being as plain as it is, it's not a bad one for customizers to use for different figures if you need to. So that's not a bad day at the office. I'll definitely say that right there. Can I get this jacket off? Let's see what's going on here. It goes off fairly easily. I'm here for that all day. And of course, like I said, no extra hands with this one, which you know I would have liked to fist. A fist would have went a long way for me, but it is what it is. But not a bad figure. I'm going to just complete the look here. I'm going to complete the look. He is ready for the ring. He is ready to wrestle. And he is looking very plain Jane. Very, very plain Jane with anything on there. A very plain wrestler. You do get Blade on the back, just in case you forget who this is down the road. You'll know, hey, this is the Blade here. But very, very plain figure. There's no doubt about it. Of course, articulation can be the same as Butch. Arms around, bicep cut single jointed or double jointed elbows there uh hands back forth side to side hula hoop at the top waist articulation the big old blade splits thigh cut if you need it double jointed knees ankles back forth up and down and then boot cut right there the very high black boots on him looking very good got to straighten him out a little bit there there we go and does he fit on a ringside collectible stand use discount code kyle Save yourself 10%. Look at that. Fitting like a glove on the stand. Looking good. Looking like a blade would look if you knew who the blade was without his get up. That's kind of my, my hard thing right here. I'm definitely displaying him with the jacket on, the glasses on, and his COVID mask on. There's no doubt about it. Same thing with Butcher. I'm putting all his gear on as well. But definitely looking really cool here, these two. Definitely here for these two. Love getting a tag team. Love getting them in a set. And these guys have been in AEW for a heck of a long time. It's time they got figures. So I'm definitely all aboard the Butcher butcher and the blade train with this two pack right here these two figures i should say right here but what say you are you picking up these two pack are you going to have them face off with private property in your fig fed let me know your thoughts in the comments down low of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this very youtube channel and the new at kyle peterson 2.0 youtube channel we got videos every single day on both channels there you go. A lot going on is at all times. And of course, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget about Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. It's all going on over there, the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for The Butcher and The Blade 2, I am Kyle, and I'll see you all real soon.